they keep killing us, and we keep killing us, by the time we look around, there'll be no more us. And if they don't see us succeed and, and become more than what we are, they're gonna be, they're dying. Want, the ratio of black women to men is seven to one. Seven to one, we're a dangerous species. Seven to one, female to male. One out of every, three out of every five black kids go to jail. We're losing, we're losing. So this is a cry out for help to say, if don't nobody care, I care. If don't nobody care, y'all care, because y'all are here. I don't care if it's 500 people down there at that Ray Charles Plaza or 15 people. The message is still gonna be the same. Is that we care enough to say enough is enough. Because the message of it is if they keep killing us and we keep killing us, when we turn around, it's no more us. There's no more future leaders. There's no more doctors, no lawyers, no, no musicians, no nothing. So we gotta take a stand and say, guess what? I'm taking a stand for a purpose that means something to me. It starts with us. It's power in numbers, and you see who's here. So when you get on social media today, it's gonna be a lot of excuses of why they didn't come. It's gonna be a lot of excuses of why they're not here. But the same ones you club with, the same ones you have fun with, are the same ones that are always complaining about change, but not here. They're not here. So if you can club with me in negativity, why not be here for positivity? The same ones you see every day, that complain about struggles and change aren't here. But I had over 75 people to share my posts. To share my posts. That's all I'm gonna say. They want change, but when is change gonna come? When it touch your aunt, your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your neighbor? It's too late then. We hate, we hate that we have to be out here, but then again, on the flip side, we're happy that there are, enough, there are people that care about what goes on in our community. And then there's people who are, who are willing. I think there should be 150, 200 people out here because if, if uh, violence hasn't touched your family directly, it has in some way, shape, or form. And, and um, I just, I just, I just, I, I'm just tired myself. I got, I got sons and I got a daughter. And every time my sons get in the car and go somewhere, you know, I'm, I'm nervous. And so I just, I just hope that today will be not only a day to, to say, okay, we're tired, but then to come together, to come and get some kind of solution together we could come together and come and get some sort of solution so if you would if you would I, I, I just believe we all family out here if you would I just want you to just put touch somebody's shoulder or hold a hand next to them or someone that's close by you Father God we thank you we thank you for being God we thank you for being Lord we thank you for being all Lord and all time we thank you for giving us the opportunity to get us family God, we pray now, God, that you will continue to get the glory, you will continue to get the honor in everything that we say and do. God, we release these balloons today, God, in, in, in honor of those who, who have lost their lives and the families that have been touched. And God, we pray now, God, that we will come together and we will come and we will create some kind of solution that we can have our sons and our daughters to live in a safe environment and an environment that you have created, God. We pray now, God, that you will put your arms around this city and surround this city, God, and show this world that you're still God and that you're still Lord. We pray now, God, that you will continue, God, to stretch your arms. And we pray now, God, that even when our kids are out of our eyesight, that you will continue to protect them. Even when they're not in our, in our arms' reach, God, that you will continue to keep your arms around them, God. For God, we, we dread to hear that call. We dread to hear the news, God, of another young black person or another young African-American male or another young male, period, another young female, period, losing their life to violence, God. We pray now, God, that you are the Prince of Peace. And we pray now, God, that peace will rest on our city right now. We pray now, God, that peace will rest on our city from this day forward. And God, we pray that 2018 will be a better year than 2017. But we know that you will stand up and you will be God like you said you would. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
and this change is gonna come. When it touch your aunt, your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your neighbor, it's too late then. So until we get tired of being sick and tired, that's when change is gonna come. 